currently running without a full-time head of department. A team of media persons, while following the mayhem in the department, had learned from reliable source that no official order has been issued for extension of the head of department who is retiring on superannuation. Until now, no procedures for recruitment of a new head of department or extension of service for the outgoing head of department seems to be taken up by the authority. On the other hand, first year and the second year examinations for the ANSEL course began on 28th of July. A student who did not want to disclose his identity speaking to media persons expressed his apprehension on the fate of the institution as the entrance examinations for intake of ANSEL student which was scheduled to be held on June 23 has been deferred indefinitely without giving proper reason. He further said if the authority fails to appoint a competent head of department, then the students appearing the examinations might be landed in vain as the genuine is questionable in getting license from the Rehabilitation Council of India. Meanwhile, at least 196 people from across the country had signed to join the signature campaign underway in the web page social networking site Facebook and the website for saving the clinical psychology department of RIMS. Functioning of the RIMS was severely affected after students of the institution staged a sit-in protest against the abduction of a postgraduate student by suspected cadres of KNF. Postgraduate student of the institution, Dr. Kunal Chakraborty, who hailed from Tripura, was rescued unharmed by a team of Vishnupur police from the clutches of abductors identified themselves to be cadres of KNF. The PG student was abducted by the cadres at around 3.30 p.m. yesterday evening while returning from Churachanpur along with 14 other students of the institution in a bus. During the protest, normal functioning of the casualty and the outpatient department was severely affected. The protest continued till 4 p.m. today. President of the PG Association talking to ISTV News condemned the abduction of the fellow colleagues. He said even during wartime, doctors were not disturbed. He appealed not to repeat such incident in future. Whether during the war or any in any time, so we really condemned the incident and uh, to show that we really condemned the incident, we ceased the work. Allocations of fund by central ministries to northeast states increased by around 4% during the financial year 2009 to 2010, an official statement said today. The total allocations of the central ministries and the departments for the northeastern region rose to Rs 15,351 crore in the year 2009 to 2010 from Rs 14,753 crore provided during 2008 to 2009, it said. During the year, 97 infrastructure projects at an estimated cost of Rs 834.99 crore were sanctioned under the non-lapsable central pool of resources. 36 projects were completed at a cost of Rs 249.59 crore during the year. Some of the major projects included the construction of water supply schemes at 22 locations in the region construction of double circuit line from Rongkhom to Ampati in Meghalaya, upgradations of facilities in 15 colleges, the statement said. That's all we have for today, but before we conclude the headlines once again. Education Minister L. Jayanti Kumar tenders apology to MLA Shyam Kumar for adding the title Singh to his name in replying to a question. And Chief Minister says action will be taken to the cadres of the rebel group presently ensuring in suspension of operation. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining us and goodbye.